Okay. And it's kind of set that cycle up where you're going to the low calorie, high mm -hmm. carb foods. And if you think about it, it's like, well, golly, how much fat and how much protein have I really taken in? And that's what supports your brain health right. and your neurotransmitter production. So you're taking in all these carbs, they're breaking down into sugar, making you crave more sugar, mm -hmm. and it's a vicious cycle. So you can see why women, women, elderly, picky eaters typically have a bigger problem with depression mm -hmm. um, because that serotonin isn't in there. And when you don't have that, there's the cravings and there's also depression that can come in. Ever since that first show that you joined me on and we talked about how our bodies break the carbs into sugar, I stop counting calories. I don't even care how many calories are. I always look at carbs. Perfect. Because I look at the carbs and the sugar, and if I think, okay, well, it's only got a couple carbs and more sugar, well, maybe just one. <laughs> no, but that's, that's a great, <laughs> but great transition. I don't even look at calories anymore because well, it's... It it makes I, I don't sense. care. It makes so much sense because when you're eating real food, mm -hmm. your body knows what to do with it. It processes it the right way. If you're taking in a bunch of processed things that your body doesn't know what to do with, you absolutely should be watching that, counting, whatever. But when Ooh. you're taking in real stuff, you don't need to. Let's, I want to focus on that real mm -hmm. stuff because yeah. people are like, well, food is real. Yes, it is tangible. We can hold it. We can shovel it in. But real food, you mean natural, yeah. right? I mean stuff that's not made in a lab. Okay. So when we say we want you to eat animal protein five to six times a day to make sufficient um, serotonin to curb your cravings, we're talking about turkey, beef, eggs, cheese, um, you know, not Boca burgers <laughs> and egg beaters. Sure. And, you know, nothing that has 17 nothing that's ingredients. Nothing tested at ABC Laboratories. Right, exactly. <laughs> you can make anything taste fantastic in a lab, you right. know? But it's not going to benefit you in any way, and it might not even nourish you like we had talked about previously. You're eating that processed stuff, you're not getting nutrient, so you're always hungry. Right. That goes back to that carb craving again. Mm -hmm. When you're taking that food in, you're not getting nourished. Your body is very efficient and very smart. It says, hey, where's the food? You so know? I should probably get rid of the frosted shredded wheat <laughs> in my cupboard that I add more sugar onto. Yes, please <laughs> do. Yes, that would That's be one awesome. of my weaknesses. It is it cereal? So, it, well, yeah, cereal, okay. I love it. But frosted shredded, frosted shredded wheat with extra sugar. Oh. It's just so delicious. Well, eat a piece of chicken on the side with some <laughs> butter and it'll okay. be a tiny bit more balanced. What about salt? Because, you know, salt brings out the flavor in food. Yeah. So can we add salt to food? You need 1,200 milligrams of salt a day. If you need to salt okay. with some sea salt is great. Okay. A great seasoning. Um, it's a little bit coarser, right? Yeah. A bit more yeah. Coarse. And you just, it's, it's just, you get more bang for your buck. And again, it has that good iodine in there for you. Right. Um, and so that 1200 milligrams a day if you are going to be making soups and stews i say make them yourself because you can even go to a great um, natural food store and be looking at any of these things that are in cans and they mm -hmm. have twice as much as you need in there for sodium a day so really making yeah. your own it gets back to basics the sodium intake in a lot of things is so high it's really high so yeah. that okay so so too much sodium bad yep a little bit of salt with some iodine good. in it good yep not not like a little vial of iodine exactly on the side. <laughs> right you got I it i think of iodine and formaldehyde I and know. it takes me back to <laughs> dissecting something that, i right. don't want to <laughs> science class ish exactly